Hello and welcome to today's Species Spotlight. This is the first edition of this series and we'll be introducing you in depth to some species from around the world. In today's episode, I'm going to be introducing you to one of the animals in our logo, the William's Eye Dwarf Gecko, also known in the pet trade as the Electric Blue Gecko and scientifically known as Ligodactylus Williams Eye. This small lizard is native to Tanzania and it's actually restricted to a really tiny part of land in the Kimboza and Ruvu forests. But first, a little bit about the lizard. These are very small lizards, averaging a length of about three inches. The females are a bronze green colour and the males are a turquoise colour, which gives them their name. Both sexes have a bright orange underside. And as you can see, they're both very beautiful animals. This is known as sexual dichromatism, where the males and females are of completely different colours. This species can also live in groups on their individual screw pines, but they have been documented to be very territorial animals. Much like other geckos, Williams eye dwarf geckos are diurnal, meaning they're out during the day. In the wild, they feed on a wide variety of insects that they can get their hands on. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, it's quite a popular pet animal. And because of this, their population declined by up to 15% between 2004 and 2009, due to people taking them from the wild as pets. This popularity and other problems such as habitat loss and population fragmentation have led to the Williams eye dwarf gecko being classed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list. Now, no specific conservation initiatives have been put in place for this species, which is something that should be necessary given their conservation status. They are classed under Appendix 1 of CITES, CITES being the Convention on the International Trade of Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora. It's a bloody mouthful but at least they have some sort of protection, although it isn't enforced enough, with poachers getting around it simply by naming them under different names when shipping them. But thankfully, the areas that they inhabit are protected for other reasons, so it is illegal to take these from the wild. Now, as I said, this is a very specialised species. They live exclusively on the screw pine, also known as Padanus rabiensis. They are also at risk of fragmentation and habitat loss. Forests in Tanzania are commonly cut down for logging purposes, much like many other forests throughout the world. And fragmentation refers to the fact that the individual populations of this species are really far away from each other and can't access each other, and this puts their genetic diversity as a species at great risk. So Ligodactylus williams eye, or the williams eye dwarf gecko, is at risk from a host of angles, stuff like population fragmentation that I mentioned earlier, deforestation, which is a problem for many other species worldwide, and the pet trade, which also affects a lot of animals. So we'll be telling you more about a lot of these species, starting off with the ones in our logo, that we think are animals that are generally overlooked as conservation priorities, because they're not as charismatic as your rhinos and your giant pandas, and people don't know as much about them, so they're less eager to help them. But we'll think that hopefully, once you've met them and you get to know them a little bit better, you'll be more interested in helping this kind of animal. So tune in and keep watching Species Spotlight.